everybody, welcome back. I know if you've been watching the past couple videos, you're like, she is the same in every single video. That's because I just did my hair and it looks nice and I wanna make film all my intros while I look like this instead of filming them when my hair is like psh, everywhere. So that's why I'm doing it all the same day. Um, but anyway, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I am Tiffany and here I share real life meal ideas. So, and real life, my dog, being very loud, drinking the cat's water. And she has her own water bowl over here. The cats drink out of the dog water bowl, the dog drinks out of the cat water bowl. That's just what works here. So you will see lots of real life and lots of real life meal ideas. I am not a nutritionist, I am not a doctor, I am not anything, I'm just a mama doing her best, trying to feed her family at home all the time for all meals. So here I'm gonna be sharing some dinner ideas that I fed my family through the week, as I said, no nutritionist, I'm just feeding my family. So I'm gonna share these ideas with you. They are very simple, few ingredients, things you mainly have on hand. I don't go out of my way to buy these extravagant um, ingredients and make these extravagant meals because I have little kids and I just make what's simple and easy and what they're gonna eat. So if you guys wanna follow along with this, I will be doing a series of what's for dinners throughout this month. And if you guys like them, I will continue them. So I will share with you a few meals that I make through the week. Um, I'm not going to share every single meal because I just feel like that would be a lot, but I'm going to share a couple great meal ideas that are easy. So here we go with a few dinners that we had through our week. So for dinner tonight, we're going to have homemade instant pot hamburger helper. So we're going to use a pound of ground beef an onion, some noodles, Worcestershire sauce, tomato paste, broth this is turkey broth it calls for beef broth but i'm just gonna use turkey broth salt and pepper and some cheddar cheese so we're gonna put one onion and one pound of ground beef in the instant pot on saute with about a tablespoon of oil i used avocado oil so i'm just gonna season this with salt and pepper and i believe you only cook it for about five minutes until it's almost cooked through. Oh, and I forgot I need garlic too. I forgot to get out the garlic. And I got out everything else. Now we're gonna add a tablespoon of minced garlic. Two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. So I had freeze dried tomato paste, so I just added some and a little bit of water for that. A little bit of salt and pepper, just because I already did salt and pepper on the meat, but just add a little bit more just for flavor. I'm gonna add four cups of beef broth and a pound of elbow noodles. And mix it all around. So we'll cook on high pressure for five minutes. So now we're gonna release the pressure. I'm actually gonna pull some of this out before I add the cheese for my one child who cannot have cheese. And then you add two and a half cups of cheddar cheese. And that is homemade hamburger helper. So here is our dinner tonight. Hamburger helper, rice, I mean not rice, applesauce, peas, and sourdough bread. So dinner tonight is going to be cheesy chicken enchiladas with Mexican rice and beans. So I have some cooked shredded chicken here and I'm just going to add some salsa to it. Okay guys, I had to come do a voiceover because I think you can kind of see behind me at some point while I'm cooking that my husband is trying to work on the sink because we've been having issues and he was trying to fix it and it got so, so loud because he was using a like professional snake that he had brought home from work. 
And so it was just so loud that I was like, you know what, I'll just voice over this. So anyway, obviously I'm just stuffing these tortilla shells. I'm not putting a lot in them just because I do have little kids. So I figured the bigger ones, like, you know, those of us who wanted a bigger one could eat a bigger one and then the little ones wouldn't have to have like this huge one. So you can see in the corner back there, he's working on under the sink. Um, so I'm just making the topping for this and I just used a stick of butter, two of the little cans of green chilies right here, or I use one big one. Um, I don't really measure this recipe anymore. I looked it up a long time ago and ever since I just kind of wing it. So um, do you do one stick of butter, two cans of these or a big one or one if you want. I mean, really it's up to you or do a bunch, who cares? It's all in what you want. I do a couple scoops of sour cream and then um, one bag of Monterey Jack cheese and mix it around when everything's all melted, just pour it over the top of the enchiladas and then I just bake on 350 about 20 minutes usually um, because everything was already warm so I did heat up the chicken again before I put it in there so it wasn't going in there cold so everything was already cooked um, it just really needed to just kind of go in the oven and warm up so I just did about 20 minutes and that was that there and also along with these enchiladas I was making some cheesy or not cheesy sorry just Mexican rice so I put a cup of uncooked rice in there about maybe about half of the jar maybe a little bit more or can sorry of the 15 ounce can of tomato sauce in there I put in some cumin probably about I don't know a teaspoon or so and then let me see what else I'm doing my cumin never comes out of that thing right there I don't know why everything else comes out fine the cumin never wants to um, I put in a couple shakes of garlic salt I don't know maybe about a teaspoon ish and then um, that's one thing I missed the other day filling up. I need to refill my garlic saw right there. And then about a tablespoon or teaspoon maybe. Let's see, I can't remember you guys. I'm trying to do this a couple days later. So maybe a teaspoon of chili powder. And then I put in a jar of this chicken bone broth that I had canned. And I should have done a little bit less because it did come out a little bit watery. So um, I don't know, it was just a little bit too much. Like I could have kept out maybe a quarter of a cup so I just poured it over top like I said popped them on in the oven and then I got out my freeze-dried refried beans which I am completely out of now so I need to make some more I just make up refried beans put them in my instant pots and then I freeze dry them and powder them and then I just add hot water hot boiling water from my kettle there and mix it around and we have homemade refried beans whenever we want so it's one of my favorite things ever to freeze dry because refried beans just like come back to life like they're fresh it's one of the best things I have found to freeze dry that come back as good and fresh I don't know it's just it comes out perfect so um and then I just I did that and then I put the top back on just because I was kind of waiting for everything else to finish and I was just trying to keep the heat inside the jar so as you can see um Oh, the rice didn't come out watery. Maybe I'm thinking of something else I did within dinner. So, nope, that was fine. Sorry, I don't know. I'm thinking of something else. I can't remember what it is right now. But anyway, there's our dinner. It was delicious. And yes, still on paper plates because my sink. But hopefully it's getting fixed soon. But this dinner was so good. So we had a complete change in dinner plans for tonight. Today is Wednesday and I had garlic parmesan noodles, um, parmesan crusted chicken, and green beans on the menu. But... Our sink is out of commission and the plumber cannot come until Friday. So that meal I was going to make produces a lot of dishes. So what I'm doing is switching the meals. We were going to have cold cut subs and chips on Friday, but we're going to switch it and just have it tonight because it just makes it so much easier when I can't really use the sink and use our water and wash dishes. I can't use the dishwasher because it's all connected and it's not working. So we have some sub rolls some toppings here we have some buffalo style chicken breast we have some roast beef pepperoni salami we've got an assortment of cheeses here we have some arby's sauce mustard some mayonnaise not chicken soup <laughs> and some pickles and then we have a couple bags of chips so i will show you not everybody's sandwiches but this is going to be dinner i figured i'd just go ahead and share because sometimes things don't go as planned even though you have a plan for things you got to switch it up so here's how we do dinner at home, even with not being able to use the sink much. So I have roast beef, Swiss, Arby sauce, and a tomato on there. That's gonna be pretty good. And I got these cute little baskets with this um, paper right here off of Amazon. 
because I figured I got it before the sink didn't work well, but um, they come in handy now. But I figured with as many dishes as we do during the school day and stuff, I figured this would might this would be really good for lunches and things, and we could do less dishes. So I don't know. We really like them. So now I'm changing up dinner because I still don't have a working sink. I don't know if it was last night I was talking about it. Um, I think I did. Yeah, because we did the cold cut subs. So today is Thursday, which we have a leftovers planned. I don't have any leftovers. So instead of making anything else that is very dish consuming, that would need me to like use a lot of water in my sink, I'm just going to make up some pizza dough. So if you watched my breakfast video, you saw I had made cinnamon rolls in here. That's why this is dirty. Um, but it's just dough. I can't really use my sink, so I am not worried about cleaning it out because I just pulled out the cinnamon rolls and made them, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and make the pizza dough now. So um, that's why that looks like that because, yeah, my sink. It's really hard to live without a usable sink in the kitchen. I do have a kitchen downstairs, but it's not fully functioning. The sink down there only has scorching hot water. It doesn't have cold water, so I can't even really go down there to wash dishes because you can't even really use that water because it will burn your skin off so um yeah it's just been we're just making do here so we're gonna make sourdough pizza tonight this is farmhouse on boone's recipe so i have one and a half cups of water in here <laughs> four cups of flour figure this pizza makes the least amount of dishes possible. Two tablespoons of avocado oil, two teaspoons of salt. I'm going to add garlic powder. It's not in the recipe, but I always like to add it because it just gives a lot of good flavor. I'm going to add a little bit of oregano and half a cup of starter. So I fed my starter last night so I could make this today. We're just gonna need this for seven to 10 minutes. So now our pizza dough is just gonna sit here until tonight. So now that it's closer to dinner, I'm gonna go ahead and make up some pizza sauce. I mean, as actually like dinner time now. So this is some tomato sauce that I had used think for the hamburger helper the other day or something that I made. Um, no, the Mexican rice. So I need um, tomato sauce for pizza sauce. So we're going to do tomato sauce, some garlic salt. I'll leave an actual recipe down below, but I'm not doing the full recipe because I don't have the full amount here. And the full recipe is always way too much for our pizza anyway. So I feel like this is just going to work better. So onion and garlic powder, some pepper, oregano, Italian seasoning, and some sugar. Right, so there's our sauce. So now I just need to make up our doughs and get our pizzas in the oven. So I bake on 425. So I've never done it on parchment paper. I usually just use my pizza pans, but like I said, I can't really wash anything. So we're gonna just try to do it like this tonight. dairy-free cheese for Layla. And then a regular mozzarella for everybody else. And then on this one, we're gonna put onions, peppers, and pepperoni. the pepperoni and we just got at Sam's Club yesterday. Worked out really well for tonight with no plans on having pizza, but now we have pizza, so glad we got it. We always top our pizzas. Did I leave it out? Where did I put it? With some garlic salt. And I 
usually just cook them until they're done. Honestly, I never even pay attention. Maybe 12-ish minutes, if I had to guess. I usually just kind of keep an eye on it. There's our pizzas. So we have like kind of a almost supreme-ish, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> and then our cheese. <laughs> so here's our dinner tonight. For my last dinner that I'm gonna make on this video, we are going to have a smoked meatloaf. So we have been quite sick for a while. Um, so I started making this video, I think the beginning of last week and I am finishing it the end of the following week. Um, we've just been uh, very, very under the weather. So um, I had planned to have this video up a long time ago, but alas, life. So I'm going to use two pounds of ground beef. We get our ground beef from a local beef farmer who's a friend of the family. So this is all, you know, very natural ground beef, which I like. So I have two pounds here. I'm going to do two eggs. And my husband is going to smoke it outside. I will let you him tell you the temperature and all that because I truly have no clue, but I'm going to go wash my hands real quick. I just make the meatloaf. He smokes it. So I'm going to add some minced onion. Um, sometimes I cut up an onion. Sometimes I use this. Honestly, it just depends on how I'm feeling and I'm still not feeling the best, but we need to eat dinner. So I'm just going to use shortcut. So salt, garlic powder, and pepper. Do some Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, breadcrumbs, and a pinch of brown sugar. Now we'll just mix this around. Normally I would cook this on 400 for about an hour, but like I said, he's going to smoke it. So I will let him tell you all of that info. Also, for the sauce, we're going to do ketchup, a dash of Worcestershire sauce, meatloaf, and again, a little bit of brown sugar. And then we have this meatloaf pan that I love for the oven because you can lift it out and all the grease goes in the bottom. Um, he's actually going to use this as well for a little bit on the smoker, but like I said, I'll let him over that with you because I truly don't know. If I was going to cook it in the oven, I would put this on now. Um, he's going to put it on later. He's going to start smoking it first. Uh, so 3.30. Three thirty for how long? Two hours. It's an hour per pound. All right, so here we go. We just took it out of our dish. We're gonna let it finish cooking all out like that. So to go with our meatloaf, I'm gonna make mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna peel these and get these in the Instant Pot. So I put the potatoes in there with some water and I just put them on 25 minutes. So when I have enough time beforehand, I leave them whole and just do about 25, 26 minutes, depending on the potatoes. And I just let it naturally release until I'm ready to cook them. Um, I'll do it like, I don't know, anywhere like an hour before we're, we're ready to eat. That way it has enough time to come up to pressure, cook and release. Um, but if I'm in a hurry, I'll chop them up smaller and do a lot less time. But I just throw them in their hole usually in plenty of time to do that because it's just a lot easier and now that they're done i just put salt pepper butter milk in there and i'm just gonna mash them on up so here is the meatloaf he just brought it up so when we cut into it i'll show you that too and there it is Here's our first post sickness homemade dinner. Very exciting. So if there's anything else you guys want to see, let me know down below in the comments and I will chat with you down there. So I will see you guys on our next video. Bye.